Houston. Hey, guys, what else, what do you want me to say to you to get you ready to play tonight? All right, it's a great atmosphere, two great football teams. All right, if there's any adversity in the game, we'll, we'll respond. If we get a big lead, okay, and they respond, we'll respond. Focus, all right, focus, but, okay, let's show them we're more passionate than they are. Let's show them that we want this more than they do. This is our conference, fellas. The last two years, let's not give it back. Let's play with that confidence and that swagger that has W&J football. In a battle of President's Athletic Conference Titans, W&J played host to the visiting Thomas More Saints at Cameron Stadium in their fourth game of the season. On the President's first drive, Coughlin completed five of seven passes, including a 35-yard touchdown strike to Liss to open the scoring seven to nothing. W&J didn't need long to take the lead back, however. On their next drive, Coughlin found freshman Jesse Zubin for 49 yards and a touchdown as the Presidents went back on top 14-7. A strip sack by junior John Turner in Thomas More territory was recovered by sophomore Ryan Torrance. Eventually leading to a Blake Davis 24-yard field goal with two minutes, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Then, with 26 seconds left in the period, w &J got the ball back and took it nine plays for 77 yards. Good ball, girl. Oh, baby. Yes. capped by a nine-yard Coughlin pass to a wide-open Michael G.M. Pole in the end zone. <laughs> it took eight plays and two minutes, four seconds for W&J to stretch the lead back to 10. following a 12-yard pass from Coughlin to senior Max Cregan. Presidents needed just two plays to answer back, as Coughlin found Liss for 77 yards. <laughs> 
Opening the fourth quarter, the Presidents forced a punt, and Coughlin hooked up with Liss for the third time to cap a six-play, 43-yard drive that took one minute, 50 seconds. The first play from scrimmage of the next drive was intercepted by junior Dan Graziano at the Thomas Moore 25 after being tipped by Pratt. After a Thomas Moore unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, Ryan Ruffing ran it in on the next play, making the final score 51 to 28. W and J hits the road for the next two games. Thank you. 